What's up guys, what's up girls? Today we're gonna speak about, this is Jeremy, how and where to apply fragrance. So this is a topic that is very important to all fragrance lovers. First of all, I want to tell you, know your fragrance. You have to know your fragrance. You can't just say an eau de parfum is always stronger than an eau de toilette. A pure parfum is always stronger than an eau de cologne. Everybody just remember Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. You know, Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, how strong that was back in the days. And it was classified as an eau de cologne. So don't be fooled and don't be worried about, ah, it's just an eau de toilette. Will it last? You have to try it on your skin. Good example, this one, Un Jardin Sur Le Nil. This fragrance is an very fresh eau de toilette based on mostly natural ingredients. So the worst of the worst in terms of uh, this won't last long. It's natural, very natural smelling and natural fragrances do have a hard times in competing with more synthetic fragrances. It is just an eau de toilette concentration and yeah. So what I do is I spray this one right here and I spray a more synthetic fragrance, which is far more sweet in here. And after five hours, I find out, hey, this is really lasting longer than this one. And this is a test you can do very easy. Simply spray the fragrances on your hand and see how long they last. So this is the easiest way, or simply watch my videos, type in whatever fragrance you like, and you find it how long it lasts because this is the second most criteria for me first it has to garner your compliments and secondly it has to last a long time so where to apply fragrance for me nowadays i always use one spray routine I have tried many, many spray routines and this goes also for the ladies out there. This is not only for men, we speak about five sprays. Five sprays I'm going to tell you. I have tried spraying on my hand here, on this in the summer. I sprayed it on my chest, different stuff. To me, the most efficient spray technique for getting the most compliments was when I sprayed myself one, two, behind each ear, three, four, so on my collar, and on the back of my neck, five. So five sprays, guys. One behind each ear. So when I give you a left kiss, right kiss, you smell me and you think I smell good. And this counts also for the ladies out there. Also behind the ear, not on the hair. So behind each ear, left kiss, right kiss, or you give somebody a hug, fantastic. It doesn't annoy you if it's here because it's not directly here. So the fragrance stings your nose all the time. No, it's here. It covers your intimate area and that's nice. It's also not on your shoulders. It's also not on your hand. You want people to come closer to you and then smell that fantastic fragrance. Too many times we all had the situation that the fragrance has introduced itself before we even shook hands with that person. And how many times did we have this situation where we gave somebody left kiss, right kiss, or even just a handshake and what's going on, man? And we found out, oh man, you smell good. This is much cooler, right? Don't you think that it is much cooler? So the first two behind each ear, fantastic. It's also a pulse point, which means here in this area, the, a lot of blood is flowing, which helps the fragrance to, to vibrate more, to, to develop more because there's more heat. And why on the color? Boom, boom. Simply for me as a man that shaves here every day, I shave here every day, we men have the issue that we do get red spots if we spray directly on our skin because of the alcohol. And so I said, I'm going to spray it right here. Some people say, yeah, you get some stains or you get some marks. Never. Every day I wear fragrance, I never have any problems in that regard. The only issue you have to know about, don't spray that close then that's a different story. But if you spray it from this distance, okay, fantastic. And you always have to know 
The clothes always wears your fragrance longer than your skin. The clothes will always stay with your fragrance longer than your pure skin. So that's two and four. Again, if your girlfriend licks your neck or you kiss the neck of your girlfriend or whoever, you won't lick up the oil of the fragrance. You will do get the nice smell here from the ear and here. And, but this area is still clean, nice. You can have a nice lotion or whatever type of a cream, all good. Nothing interferes. And why here at the last, of course, you want to spray here on the back of your neck because if you go somewhere, you have a nice scent trail behind you. You have a nice scent trail behind you and people, this is the turn the hats spot to spray your fragrance. And I really tried a lot of spray routines and often when I went more, like seven, I didn't, simply did not get that many compliments. Like just yesterday, I got two compliments for a very unpopular fragrance where I had this exact spray routine, less is more. I had another situation with a woman, same woman, same fragrance, two weeks difference. One day, no compliment. The other day, three compliments at one day. She just couldn't get enough of that fragrance because it was just a bit there, but not overwhelming. So less is more guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, everybody. This channel is for people that do want to achieve something in their life. They want to be more attractive, more representative. You know that smelling good, keeping your hygiene nice is one of the puzzles in your whole appearance. And I'm the guy to help you with that. This is what I want to help you guys. So enjoy your life and help the world with a nice job. Be a good real estate agent or whatever you do. Love you. Peace.